Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Octu Cthulhu Tactics. I'm here with Spring of Dawn, and I initially went into this game blind. I started recording, but uh, the missions are a little bit longer than I thought they were going to be, so the first episode ended up being way too long. Uh, so this first episode, we're just going to do the tutorial mission. Uh, this game is based off the board game, Achtung Cthulhu. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I know it's German, and it means danger. So it's just Danger Cthulhu, which is what I might call it the rest of the time uh, that I play the game, just Danger Cthulhu. Uh, it is a turn-based uh, strategy game. Uh, I use a small squad of four characters, and you go up against Cthulhu-esque threats. Uh, we're just going to start a new campaign. Empty slot. We're going to do it on hard. And again, I've only done the tutorial and part of the first mission. It ends up, it's a lot longer than uh, I had anticipated. It is late 1944, and after the D-Day landings and months of hard fighting, the Allies close in on Germany's border. Soon, the Nazis plan to launch the audacious counterattack through the Ardennes Forest, known as Operation Watch on the Rhine hoping to split the Allied armies and hurl their circling enemies back into the sea. Supplementing the Third Reich's conventional troops are the darker forces of the Nazi occult, the sinister Black Sun, wielders of arcane magics and tamers of captive horrors, and their bitter rivals the Nachtwolf, the Night Wolves, who harness advanced experimental weaponry to rule the battlefield. Both have recently been observed in the Ardennes, and in a quiet, seemingly forgotten corner of the forest, known locally as Arduina, other eldritch forces also begin to stir. When the local resistance sent word to London that a terrifying new secret weapons facility is being built beneath the forest's surface, the Allies' own occult forces, Britain's Section M and the U.S.'s Majestic, Send an airborne task force to investigate. But the message is a trap, and an entire parachute battalion is lured to its death in a brutal ambush. Only Charlie Company of Badger's Commandos, under the command of Captain Eric Badger Harris and U.S. Sergeant Brandon Carter, survive after being blown off course by mysterious winds. Fleeing into the arms of the forest, they go to ground in the abandoned Chateau Limoges. There, they manage to get a garbled radio message back to HQ. And in response, London sends two of its finest special operatives, French resistance leader Ariane Dubois and Corporal Aki the I Singh. Their mission, rendezvous with Charlie Company and find out exactly what the Nazis are up to in this ancient woodland known as the Forest of Fear. Mademoiselle Dubois, Corporal Singh, your orders are to make your way behind enemy lines, then proceed through the forest to the appointed rendezvous point, where you will meet Captain Harris, Sergeant Carter, and any other survivors from Operation Fallen Angels. You will engage and defeat any enemy forces you encounter en route. Secure a forward operating base, and then report back with your findings. So a very small, a very brief uh, back history of Cthulhu and myself. I'm a huge Cthulhu Mythos fan. I love anything Lovecraftian for the most part. And while not all of the video games, the board games I think are all really good. Um, but while not all the video games are hits, there are a few misses out there. They all at least hold your attention. They're all at least intriguing and fascinating. Because the Cthulhu Mythos, I mean, that's, uh, I think that's its main selling point. It's just... There's so much unknown, and that's what makes it so intriguing. I don't know. It, it's supposed to be more of a psychological horror than, you know, like just straight up like jump scares or general horror. This game, though, doesn't really seem to accentuate the psychological horror aspect. It's more, you know, it's a little more cutesy, but it, it's still, it, so far it seems like it's a fun game, what I've played of it so far. And... Also, it's come out just in time for the Call of Cthulhu game. I accidentally stumbled across this game on Steam when looking up the Call of Cthulhu game that comes out October 30th this month. This game came out, I think, two days ago. And I happened to miss it because I was playing We Happy Few. But, or I missed the release day. But, uh, you yeah, know, better late than never. On my way. It's mostly to kill time until uh, Call of Cthulhu comes out. Then interact. 
Keep an eye open for any of the commandos who dropped in. We've not heard back from them. I suspect an ambush. Captain Phil. On my way. On my way. And this does have a mixture of both um, XCOM and Hard West uh, mechanics. Okay, this is a tutorial mission. I don't think you can even lose the tutorial mission. That's so not giving me the tooltips because I've already been through it once before, so it might be might be due to that. All right, first enemy down. Move her up. Reveal the three enemies over here. And enter. Yeah, this episode will be doing the tutorial mission and then just the intro to the next mission. Then I'm going to call it an episode because I tried doing the tutorial and the next mission and it was well over an hour and I still haven't finished the second mission yet. And I'm aiming for about half an hour episodes. I do want to do about a mission per episode. Uh, this one will probably run a little bit shorter than the rest of the series. Was Overwatch here. Yeah, when I mean, you see the XCOM inspiration, like when I go to fire, it's like, oh, there's 60% chance. Also, the turn based, and you can also turn your camera around. Uh, but see this blue bar around my health bar? That's a luck gauge. So every every encounter you get luck, it'll reset. Like if you get hit, your luck takes damage before your health takes damage, which is a mechanic that Hard West had introduced. Uh, uh, it's pretty neat. Also, I think I prefer the action point uh, mechanic as opposed to what XCOM has, where you get basically two turns or two actions per turn. Also, it doesn't seem like Overwatch ever hits. I've yet to see it hit, and I've killed plenty of enemies so far. Between the tutorial and this, uh, between this mission, the tutorial, and the next mission. Yeah, never worried about Overwatch hitting me. At least not yet. Again, flip of a coin, 50-50 chance of hitting. There we go. Go ahead and reload his shotgun. Then we'll move her up. A good chance of hitting. There we go. And one enemy left. And turn. Yeah, see, uh, the uh, luck took damage instead of my health. Also, you have the stress mechanic. Whenever someone gets hit, uh, they take stress, but if they get a critical hit or take a lot of damage, the uh, all your allies also take some of the stress damage. And I think it's supposed to, at a certain point it's supposed to confuse you and you can't control your character. But what it seems to have happened so far for me anyway is just it uh it gives you debuffs, which I'll show you if I if I get one applied. Yeah, I'm just gonna run forward. That's a tutorial, so again I'm not super worried about dying. Or failing the tutorial for that matter. So we get two shots off. Forty-five percent chance and sixty percent chance. I'll take the sixty. 
All right, that's the end of the first the introduction to combat. Well, the first time through, I did explore all the corners, but I didn't find anything. Uh, Carter and Harris rendezvous with you in the forest. They're robust fellows and should still be alive. And there they are. Now we got the whole squad together. I believe there's just one more fight. On my way. Yeah, it's up here. On my way. Uh, the French resistance is active in that area, harassing it, supply lines, etc. Their handiwork should be obvious. On my way. All right. Let's start with her. We'll move her up here. Here we go, damage. Alright, let's get him up and at him. Charge him all the way up here. I was gonna end the turn. Again, I'm not gonna waste too much time on trying to use Overwatch because so far it seems practically useless. Awesome. That crit was perfect. <coughs> I'll reload that for AP, then I'll move him into his position once I move him. Yeah, it's not worth trying. 40% chance. Not worth the trouble. Sixty percent chance is pretty good. Sixty-five percent chance, do ten damage. Nope. That's alright, she gets three shots. Come on. There we go. Alright, one enemy left. I believe this is the end of the tutorial mission. Again, the tooltips aren't coming up because I've already played through it, I guess. Um, a little disappointed in that, but it, it'll it'll be okay. Because I, I mean, the mechanics are pretty basic. I mean, you have your health, you have your luck, uh, stress level, melee attacks, and all that jazz. We'll try a melee attack here. Just show it off. Firing. I seem to have a really good chance of hitting most of the time. There we go. Tutorial or combat ending. That's the end of the tutorial. Put my body up here, and it gives you a uh, mission complete summary at the end. Any button to continue? Under experience, one more uh, level. We'll probably level up twice at the end of the next mission because there are a lot of enemies in the second mission. It's a very lengthy mission, and we get a Mills bomb at the end. It's a single-use item. You can go here, uh, give overviews of each of your um, characters. And then loadouts. I have that grenade. I'm going to give it to this guy. Uh, you also get weapon, weapon mods and all that jazz. I don't know. Oh, he actually, oh, I didn't know he had a second. Oh, it's not equipped.
Yeah, I didn't know I had this available. Well, awesome. How does the Colt measure up to the Luger? Damage 10 to hit bonus 5. This never has to be reloaded. That's a huge plus. Yeah. And then uh, we all get levels, so give her life drain. It does uh, deal damage to equal half your willpower stat to target enemy. Uh, he gets charge, which is, I am in love with. Move towards selected enemy and make a melee attack with bonus damage. Uh, I think right now it currently does like 15 plus 10, so 25 uh, damage on a melee attack, which is really good. And he has ever penetrate, which is also really good. It shoots in a straight line and damages all enemies in a straight line. Very, very good ability, at least so far. And his seems alright. Uh, double your character's reveal cone range until the next turn. So it shows you what you're fighting against. It's pretty, it's pretty useful. Now I was using the M1A1 Thomas because I didn't realize he had the Bren gun in the second mission. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and um, yeah, I'm gonna select this mission. You get more rewards this way. This one you get a med kit and a basic medium scope, though here you get three three items, you know, basic long scope, basic extended mag, and brandy. And you can choose your loadouts here as well, but I have everything that I can equip equipped. We'll launch the mission, then I'll Captain Harris, call an episode. Sergeant Carter, we're glad to hear you're well. Congratulations on slipping the noose of fallen angels and coming out alive. Your combined team is now our main asset on the ground. And we need to know exactly what the Nazis are up to in there. Your initial orders are to mount a small-scale raid on a target of opportunity. Get in, gather what intelligence you can, grab any weapons and equipment you can forage, then get out of there fast before any Nazi reinforcements arrive. Good luck, and Godspeed. Alright, and this is the second mission. I'm going to call the episode here, and in the next one, uh, we'll pick up right where we left off. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you there.